to tune, but uh, once it's there, it seems to be pretty stable. All right, um, very good. Uh, AK, uh, how does my audio sound to you, Jason? I'm, I'm just trying out an old radio. Uh, over. Um, you it sounds great. I mean, yeah, your audio is great. Your fidelity is very strong and, you know, it sounds like, uh, well, I would say you sound like you're next to me, but there's, you know, a bit of static, but that's just the band. Uh, that's not you. Uh, no, you sound great. Very good, thank you. Yeah, this is an old uh, ICOM 751A that I uh, had in storage for about a year, and I just brought it out a couple of days ago and uh, trying to see if I can get it running again. And uh, Good, thank you very much for the report. Yeah, no problem. No, no, your actual audio guys sound really, really good. So, um, yeah, you know, you know, good, 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 uh, B-52, uh, you know, be fair, though, my, my hearing isn't great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the high and the low. But uh, for me, you sound, you sound great. Uh, I don't know how old you are, but uh, the age here is 77, and I don't have great hearing either. <laughs> um, I know, I'm in my 40s, but uh, I do a lot of shooting, so a lot of my hearing isn't that great. Uh, um, so. Yeah, I've kind of lost a little bit over the years. I thought you were supposed to wear earplugs when you do that. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Anyway, you got to protect your ears. Huh? Very good. Uh, yeah, you're on a K4? Yeah, right now I'm on the K4. Um, yeah, this is kind of like my main station, and then I have like a Yaesu uh, FCDX 10 as a backup, and I have an ICOM 7300 as a backup, um, just in case if uh, one of them goes down, or oh, I decide to try something different for the night. Everybody has a 7300 except Graham, right, Brent? Oh, I did, you know. <laughs> I've had two of them. I know. Hey, Brent, this has a, a tone control a rotating knob on the front. It's pretty neat. You can control the tone by, uh, receive tone by rotating this knob. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's pretty cool. You know, it's amazing how many radios don't have a tone control. Well, the 7300 does, you know. Uh, it has a, a bass and treble, uh, uh, minus five, zero, plus five. But I actually like this ro rotating uh, uh, dial better, you know. Because you don't have to go into a menu. This is true. I don't know. I mean, uh, menus are okay, but I, I don't really like menus that much on radios. Yeah, I generally don't dine out in order for menus. <laughs> uh, Jason, how far are you from the ocean? I am 2.346 miles from the ocean. And that's 2.3467? Just about every day. And I can walk in there. This wasn't from my house. I actually went up uh, what they call Old San Jose Road. Um, at the bottom of the canyon. Um, so there's mountains on three sides. Um, of me. And I went up and down the canyon about two and a half sides, actually. And uh, I'm up to about 550 feet from a river. Well, a creek. Well, we call it Sergio Creek, but... It's only kind of a, a small river, uh, that kind of goes through the mountain there, and uh, it comes down into SoCal and all that stuff, uh, and uh, yeah, so we're about, we're at, we call it maybe 2.6 miles from the ocean. Very good.
Oh, you probably could just call them on the phone and uh, they'll tell you. It's weird, the band just kind of got real noisy. Maybe it's uh, from the storms, what do you think? Yeah, it could be. It's always S7, S8, S9 here. It's not good. Does that compare to the 10 when you're just listening to the noise? Is the 10 noisy? Okay, you sound a little muffly again, David. Maybe you uh, you bumped it. Really? Okay. Uh, am I still muffling? Well, I think maybe it's the angle you're talking into the microphone or something. Uh, but it might be just like a hair off is what I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how about right now? Sounds fine. Sounds fine. Okay, I think I was too close to the microphone. All right, you, you better let the dogs out before they attack. Well, the one dog. Well, I don't know, I'm afraid I'll pee in the house. <laughs> That's considered attacking. I guess for your next test, you can see if it'll uh, tune up 160, Jason. Yeah, I'm actually really scared about that one, but yeah, I'm going to be trying that one next. I am not going to use the chair on that, though. <laughs> not, not, well, at least not until I know that it will be okay, you know, because the, uh, well, obviously, you a chair, you get uh, um, lost on it, so whatever it is, it's... I honestly wouldn't use it on 160 because that band is real sneaky. <laughs> I would sit here and, and tune up on 160 and it had a perfect match at 100 watts and I would go turn on the amplifier and all of a sudden all hell would break loose. Yeah, that's 
Well, just 160 is just a very unforgiving band if you're not in resonance. I'm going to go see what the, the kids are doing inside the house and uh, make sure everything's uh, under control. We got a four year old and six year old and 14 year old, so <laughs> it's always you know, uh, crying and whining and fighting. So, uh, there's probably some other guys that'll be on here in a little bit if you're going to hang out for a while, but I'll be back in about uh, 10 minutes or something. So, this is KG7HVR. Yeah, no yeah, man, if I were thinking about the 14-year-old, I'd be more concerned about the one that might be causing those problems, especially at 14. Um, yeah, I'll be here for a bit. And 6K to you.